number of the nation's most populous cities are advancing the creation and usage of alternative response teams featuring paramedics instead of police to address nonviolent mental health calls. Fox's Jackie Bonnie is taking a closer look at what advocates say is driving the changes. All right. Thanks. Okay, bye. Efforts to tackle the nation's ongoing mental health crisis are seeing some dynamic shifts. With a growing number of communities across the country deploying paramedics and other health care professionals to nonviolent mental health calls instead of the police. I get to meet them in a spot that empowers them for their voice to be heard. According to research analyzed by the Associated Press, more than a dozen of the 20 most populous cities in America have or are creating these alternative response teams. We're also seeing people who are struggling with homelessness um, as well as substance abuse. And while they go by different names from New York's Be Heard initiative to the STAR program in Denver and beyond, team members say their goal is to not only keep people having a mental health episode safe, but to get them to the best possible location to assist in their recovery. What Health One can do, our co-responder program can do, is send people to homeless shelters, to clinics, to outpatient-based programs. Advocates of these teams also say crew members have more time to spend addressing mental health calls than most police. They are very proficient in um, de-escalating clients who are in behavioral or emotional crisis, and they have the time to spend. If that takes two hours, they can spend two hours. An, an engine or an aid car can't spend that time. They have to get back in service. Meanwhile, critics argue some alternative programs need to boost funding to increase the number of calls they can respond to. Jackie Abanez, Fox News.